Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So my name is Beetle Knees and I'm back on another Train Life video and uh, we are continuing our journey which we started last time from uh, Nuremberg I think it was. Let's just have a look at the old map. So yeah we actually started um, over here at Nuremberg Main and the intention was to go all the way over to Glivich over here and we never made it because we had some massive confusion at uh, Prague was it I think Prague Main um, with the picking up the passengers and what have you so uh, I was just running out of time really so we're here at uh, Bruno Main and we are going to continue this journey over to Glivich now I have got an employee uh, which um, we will have a look at and somebody's very kindly pointed out one of the, uh, the subscribers uh, that uh, the reason she's not making any money and I to be honest didn't realize she wasn't making any money but uh, yeah I suppose it's fairly obvious really it's a zero there isn't it um, is because she's going to Brussels warehouse <laughs> Which, <laughs> which doesn't really uh, help when uh, you're supposed to be carrying passengers. So we uh, are going to uh, cancel this and change it. Now I've been having a quick look and I can't seem to find a way of editing uh, these um, tasks for your employees. Uh, I mean, you've got tasks, history, Fire a driver, assign perk points, change locomotive, unassign locomotive, and cancel task. That's all I can see. So I can only assume that we uh, we can only cancel the task and, and set it up once again. So we need Calais to Brussels. So let's cancel that and let's create a task. Um, and we want to go from Calais to Brussels. So we're carrying passengers. Uh, number of passenger wagons we will have as it's not what we can take three why can we only take three I thought we'd have been able to carry more than that really but anyway we've got three um, we don't want to wait till a full load we don't want to wait till a full delivery and we will repeat the task uh, select route so we want to go from um, Well, she's at Lille at the moment, isn't she? So we we have to uh, we have to go to somewhere where we've been, don't we? Well, I'll tell you what, let's just set her off on that one for now. Unless it's very very sensitive. This um, this uh, the you know the the curse when you're moving it about. Very, very sensitive. Um, I'm just wondering, let's go from... Uh, let's do Calais, Maine. And we'll do Lille, Maine. And we'll do Brussels, Maine. So hopefully that sorted it out. So she's going to go between all those three and repeat. Yeah, I don't know exactly how that works. Does she actually call at Lille on the way both ways or is it just the one way? I don't know. So we've got one, which is Calais, two, which is Brussels, three, which is Lille. Just make sure we've got all the mains as well. Yeah, and yeah, okay. So anyway, let's keep it at that. Uh, and confirm task. So passengers, three wagons, repeat task. And we will confirm that. Yeah, okay. So that's got that set up, hopefully. So she's traveling to start now so anyway we'll see if she brings any money in uh let's uh let's get on with our uh, particular journey so as i said we had it all set up from last time uh so we're actually here at um bruno we're at the service center and we're going to carry on our journey to uh 
Um, where's the next port of call actually? Let's have a look. Let's just double check on this. So we are caught, yes, Ostrava Main is where we are heading, and then it'll be Glivich after that, won't it? So Ostrava Main, we are heading to, and that's confirmed by the sat nav. Brilliant. Right. Let's get into the driver's seat and let's get on with things. Oh, we don't want reverse. It's not looking a bad day, is it? How's everybody going anyway? Not been on uh, on this one for a while. I mean, to be perfectly honest, um, as uh, some of you may know, the channel's not been up and running for that long. And I, over the months, I've been trying to really... Uh, just get my speed down there. I've been trying to really um, put the feelers out for what people actually like. Uh, and I have to say, Trend Life does seem, seem to be a very popular game and remains so. Uh, so it is definitely a game I'm going to carry on uh, doing quite a bit of, if I can uh, get round to it. Um, but yeah, I've got so many games on the go, it's, it's difficult getting, uh, getting round to the different games and, uh, and trying to keep everybody happy, I suppose. But I am looking at the... The stats and uh, and train life is definitely uh, positive, so uh, definitely keeping on with this particular game. Uh, Fernbus uh, has been another popular one of late. Uh, but I, I've tried other games such as like Builder Simulator in my time and different things, and uh, they don't. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to use my horn, didn't I? Uh, they don't come back as particularly strong games viewer-wise, so. Uh, that's why I've not done any more of those games. Um, there's one or two others out there. Police Simulator was, oh, I mean, to be honest, I, I couldn't stand that game myself. Um, it, it was such a long-winded start. I mean, somebody did comment that it gets better, but uh, no. If I'm not enjoying it from the start, then that's it for me, to be honest. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not going to bother with that one anymore. But, uh, but certainly, yeah, Train Life, Fern Bus, uh, uh, two particularly strong games. Definitely carrying on with these two. So speed limit 70. Let's, uh, sorry, 90, isn't it? Let's get it cranked up a little bit more. So it picks up speed when you're not looking. Well, I think we're going downhill, aren't we? No point in uh, increasing the speed particularly because it's going to be 80, uh, less than a kilometre, so I may as well just stick at this speed. And now we have some train somewhere. Although I don't know where it is. So yeah, please um, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the videos. Please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it would really, really help the, the, the channel out and uh, increase my viewership, so to speak. And uh, click that notification bell. And also I have a Discord channel. I'll put a link in the description for you. So please join the Discord and uh, let's get some proper conversations going on there. There's not many of us at the moment, but uh, you know, the more the merrier. So everybody's welcome. Ooh, let's get that speed down a bit. Let's 
It's the old talking about one thing and uh, doing something different syndrome, I'm afraid. <laughs> something I've never been particularly good at. Right, train approaching, uh, so uh, yeah, we need to watch out for what's happening ahead. So he's a kilometre ahead. We've got a... Oh, why is that? That was a blue light. Not sure that was my fault. I'm going to come to a stop. And let's just see what happens here. Oh, it's on the other bloody track. <laughs> Got to be a glitch that, surely. I'm absolutely fine here. I don't know what that was all about. Got to be a glitch. I went through a blue light, I'm sure I did. Said the track was clear, all of a sudden I get a fine. Oh well. There you go. I mean, to be honest, if I'd have gone onto the left track, that would have been a problem, wouldn't it? So yeah, weird one, that one. Yeah, if anybody um, wants me to uh, do a particular thing on the game, then uh, please drop it down in the comments. You know, I'll consider all ideas. Um, if you want me to try something different, go to a certain city, route, or whatever. I mean, obviously, uh, it's got to be uh, round about where I am at the moment, um, because otherwise I've, I've got to travel over to there. But, uh, but yeah, if you want me to, uh, to do anything particular like that, then drop a comment. I'm really wanting to uh, to do the games for you guys out there, you know, so um, I can play whenever I like. So, uh, yeah, drop a comment and, uh, and if it looks uh, worthwhile doing, which I'm sure it will be, I will uh, certainly consider giving it a crack. Lovely weather today, and I have to say the weather on the game is very similar to what it's like uh, where I am here in uh, northern England. It's, uh, it's looking very, very similar. Sun shining and a few high clouds knocking about. It's always nice when it matches up like that, I feel. Let's have an outside shot. I do wish this was 60 FPS though on the Xbox, I really do. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I, I started playing, well actually, started playing the game on the Xbox, moved over to GeForce Now. Uh, playing the PC version, got 60 frames per second at 4K, uh, but I had no end of problems with my saves, so uh, I'm not going into it. I've, I've been into it loads of times before, um, but um, but yeah, uh, sorry, I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so I'm back over here on the Xbox, and uh, to be honest, I, I couldn't remember really what the um, 
what the uh, frame rate was, but uh, but yeah, I was I was quite surprised when I got back on the game and uh, it was only 30 fps. So a bit of a shame that somebody did mention. I think that uh, the developers said that's all that they could manage on the consoles, but uh, I don't know. There's loads of games out there like this that have 60 fps. So I, I'm not so sure I can accept that really. Oh, I never asked for access, did I? Bugger. Hello. We're prepared to receive you and have marked tracks for your arrival. It's amazing, yeah, a couple of weeks off a game and uh, and you're all over the place. Right. There we go. Now let's open the doors. Oh, leveled up. Junior 2. New dashboard accessories. Yeah, I've never even looked at the dashboard accessories. I'll have to have a look at those. Right. So, boarding passengers. We'll, uh, I meant to have a look what passengers we'd got when we set off at Bruno. So, uh, we will have a look in a minute. Let's close the doors. Okay, so we've gained 16,188, got 407 XP. Lovely jubbly. So. Ooh, we've got some more there, haven't we? Two or three. So 14,496, 352 XP. And another 5,034, 112 XP. Fantastic. Oh, I think there was another one. There was another one there. Did that loop back round? I think it was looping back round, wasn't it? It said two or three. I certainly looked at three. So, let's uh, have a look at who we have on board. Uh, train. There we go. Oh yeah, fair number. Should bring us in some nice lolly. Right then. Off we go again. And we've got the correct destination set up. 12 kilometers. It's my dog again. Typical terrier. So we need to be keeping right. Let's just take some throttle or throttle off, not speed off, but throttle off just for the moment. Just so we get through all these junctions. Okay, so what are we on now? 80. So let's get some speed going then. speed of it's 120 so we can keep the throttle on let's get some speed up another bridge zone coming up presumably oh now it's going back down to 70 
have a 120 coming up in a moment. We've got an approaching train coming from somewhere. Let's just slow down. See what's happening here. Don't trust this game now. <laughs> After all the episodes I've had in the past. Well, I'm hoping he's on the other track because there's no crossover points. Well, that's fine because we're miles from that one. He's on the other track anyway, so... Why that red light is there, I have no idea. Ah, we're fine now. Yeah, we're on two totally different tracks, and yet it's giving us a red light. Ooh, 120. Now no, it's back to a hundred. So going by the fact that uh, this game looks like it's had all its uh, updates and everything, they've moved on to other things. What's everybody's final thoughts on this game as it is now? Then after all the updates it's had and everything, and all the bugs that it's had in the past, are people happy with it? Drop a comment if, uh, if you would like to say your piece on the game. Um, so far as I'm concerned, my, my final kind of, uh, well, as you say, not, not so much final thoughts, because I'll probably have further thoughts on the game as time goes on, I suppose, as I play it. But um, but my thoughts of it now in, in its state, it is now, uh, and without any future patches, uh, probably, and there may be the odd one or two, little one here and there, but I I think they've just about done with it now, the, the developers. Um, I would say that it's worth what I paid for it. Um, when you go buy uh, a lot of games, uh, you know, a lot of AAA games now that are costing 60, 70 pounds plus, really, by the time you've bought DLCs and things like that, you're spending hundreds of pounds. I mean, look, look at Train Sim. Uh, that they, that's a fairly, or Train Sim World, I should say, that's a fairly cheap game. In the first place, but the DLC, I mean, the DLC is nearly as much as the game itself. So, uh, so you know, you, you can spend a heck of a lot of money on games, and uh, I think in the state this game is in now, I think it's well worth the money. If anybody is still considering whether to get this game, I would get it. It's definitely got some quirks, uh, as you've just seen back there, uh, or at least I think. I'm right in saying that, going through that blue light and getting a fine. Um, didn't really understand it, but um, but you know, you, you look at the traffic on the on the on the left there. Look, uh, you know, you, you can't ask for better than that in a game um, of this type. Um, a lot of games. Uh, in fact, funnily enough, I was just looking at Tramsim, and I was looking at the amount of traffic uh, on that game and. 
it's virtually non-existent the amount of traffic on on that game at the moment whether they can improve upon that i don't know but in its first day of release that's what it's like and i'll be perfectly honest with you guys it's put me off actually buying it uh, I don't get any free games for my channel. I'm too small a channel at the moment to get anything like that. Uh, so I have to buy all my games and I have to make my purchases carefully, really. And I was planning on getting it, but after seeing it, I don't know. It just looks a bit... The cabins look a bit basic. There's very little traffic knocking about. One or two pedestrians and stuff, but... Um, just to drive round a couple of cities uh, on a tram, I don't know. I'm not so sure I want to go down that route uh, unless they improve it over time. Um, and that game is, is it something like uh, £32 for the vanilla and then it's on offer at 40 or it was on offer at £40 for the deluxe version. Well, that's the, the normal price is 45 It was only on a pre-order price, that I think, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah, for forty-five pounds, don't know. But this game, for the, for a similar kind of price, I think is is really really good. I wouldn't uh, I w out out of ten, what would I give it? I'd probably, in its state it is now, I would give it an eight out of ten. Um, I do enjoy playing it. It has been frustrating at times, but I, I do feel it's a good game and. If you are still considering whether to get it or not, I would give it a shot. Especially if you can see it in a sale at some point, definitely. If you got it at, say, 15, 20 quid, I, I, it would be 10 out of 10. Um, because you'd expect one or two little faults here and there sometimes, if that was the case. For that price... So yeah, there's, there's still one or two bugs, as you've just seen. Um, you still get the, the, the train that's gone by and is behind you now, uh, going the other way. It still says the message there is an approaching train. Got little quirks like that to it. But once you get used to those quirks, then yeah, it, it, it's a good game and I enjoy it. And I, I probably enjoy this more than Train Sim World. I've not actually featured Train Sim World on, on my channel, actually. Um, I don't know why I've just decided not to run it, but uh, but I, I I think I just think there's more to do on this game. It's not just driving from A to B. There are things to do on it, and um, and yeah, I, I do definitely think it's worth the money. So uh, so yeah, eight out of ten. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it for the price I paid. So uh, so there you have it. That's my thoughts on it as it is now. But what's your thoughts? As I said. Let me know in the comments. Oh, I'm tasked for permission again, have I? There we go, thank you. Got here rather quick, didn't we? I couldn't get rid of the uh, the dial menu then. Do you know what? I don't think I'm on the correct track here. I think I should be over there. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, it doesn't really tell you on there, does it? Let's roll with it and see what happens. We might have to double back. But I don't think this is right. It's saying 160 metres, but I'm sure this isn't right. We need to be over there, so I'm going to run by. I 
and then coming backwards, I think. Let's keep left. Go to the back of the train. Let's get around there again. Okay, so we want to be right. I'm just going to take this slow because I'm still not entirely sure where we need to be. Oh, no, 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 I've got the wrong one. I could have sworn I'd change that to the right. Trying to work out where we need to be. Is that is that the one on the far right? They all they all look orange for me, and this is the problem. Difficult to work them out. Okay, let's uh, keep right this time. I'm just going to take it really steady because I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, it's this. It's got to be that one on the right, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. That's the orange one. Yeah, not quite sure what happened there. Probably with me talking again. But we're here. Okay. That's it. You can stop if you like. Thank you. Now let's see what we've got for this. Gained 1,189 experience points. So I didn't catch the amount. Let's close the doors. Okay, so 22,452, 567 XP for that one. And we've got 12,496, Then we have 8,848, XP. And 5,064 and 114 XP. So, right. I think that goes back to the beginning, doesn't it? That's it. One of four. Okay. Okay, so let's um, have a look at our work then. Can't remember a name. Erin Ritchie. Let's have a look at old Erin. What's she doing? So she's 28% into her task, is she? I'm assuming. Still not earned anything though. Now I do know that um, from what I remember, the passengers only, sorry, the, not the passengers, the employees only uh, earn money or they only work when I'm working. Think I've got that right. So I've got to be working for them to be working. So she'll not be doing anything at the moment because I'm not doing doing anything myself. That's how I'm seeing it. So anyway, 
We've got here to uh, Glivich, and uh, I think we may as well carry on and do a little bit more, haven't we, really? So let's have a look at the old map. And so we're, we're over here in the far east, aren't we, really? Um, sort of around Poland way. Now I think we are, aren't we? Because we've got Rocklaw up there. Uh, I think that's Poland. My geography is not particularly great. Uh, so yeah, so we, what we could do then is go keep moving off that. So many different games out there. You know when you get a map up and you need to zoom in and out and some games use the trigger buttons and some games use the shoulder buttons and other games use the left stick forward and backwards. Other games use the right stick forward. You never know where you are with it, do you? <clears throat> so we are at Glivich Main. So what we could do, let's zoom out then. So let's go around, let's do the perimeter of the map basically, shall we? Let's let's sort that out. And then we can do bits in between, can't we? So let's go from here up to, uh, let's go to uh, Chechen, um, which is up there. So let's, let's get on with this then. So, uh, Let's lay our route in because we need to lay our route in before we pick the passengers up so that they know where we're heading. So where are we here? We're at Glivich already. So Rocklaw Main. It's not Rocklaw though, is it? It's pronounced different. I can't remember what it is. And then we've got these are all off track, aren't they? The we've then got Poz, Ponyan, Poznan, don't know. And we will go to Chechen up there. Okay. Now we should be able to pick our passengers up. see what we've got so right okay yeah we have a fair number there don't we right let's go 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 oops no we won't so we're in the wrong way better Now getting dark, we have got our lights on. I think the blue light is certainly on. So it's bye bye, Glivich, and on to Rock. Rocklaw, yeah, it, I, I, that's not how you pronounce it, I'm sure it's not. But it's the way I'm pronouncing it for this video. Because <laughs> I can't think what it is. Pop out and have a look at the front of the train. Um, uh, yeah, we have got lights on, haven't we? Yep, yeah, definitely got some lights on there. Ah, do you know that that's something that I, th I think that's something that they brought into the game at some point. I don't remember that being in from the beginning. I'm sure it's something they introduced since, and uh, I just totally forget to do that every time. So 
So what we got? 14 kilometres to get to, to Rocklaw. And we have an animal up ahead. Well, hoping, which is the uh, horn? Is it the left stick? Yeah, it is. Right, we have an 80 limit coming up soon. So we can get rid of this animal. Yep, it's gone. I think I still actually come into stations way too quick uh, and sometimes I lose track of where I'm going so uh, I'm going to try and get my speed really down to give myself time to uh, realise where I'm actually going in the station because the, more often than not I feel I end up on the wrong track. Right, nice little stretch of 120 here. And hopefully it's going to stay at that for a while. Although there is a twisty coming up soon, so I bet we're going to have to reduce for that. Nice stretch of track this isn't it to be able to bat on. No sign of any reduced speed limits but there again just as we say that we've got an 80 coming up which I thought we would do because of the layout of the track there. Smoky chimneys. So, just under seven and a half kilometres to go. Oh, look at that in the water, the sunset in the water there. Look brilliant. 
My favourite time of day on games, sunset and sunrise. I think if it's done right, and it, I think it is done right on this game, it looks spectacular. Another nice fast bit of track. So we've got 100 coming up in a moment, but uh, we're at 105, so actually not bad. Should get away with that okay. And this is where we break off then for Rocklaw, isn't it? And we've got a broken down train ahead. We're going to start slowing down, guys, because um, I don't want to get caught out with a red light. Now, this is blue. But there's also hazard lights as well. Just never sure where the oncoming train is. This is the problem, which track it's on. Um, and it's a broken train actually, isn't it? So, just playing it a little cautiously. Does that look like it's on our track actually? I'm gonna cross over. Oh, no, 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 no. What have I done there? I didn't want to do that. No, that was silly. Can we actually get through there? Yes, we can actually get through, to be honest. So that's fine. In fact, actually, it might... Um, It might actually uh, get rid of that issue with the broken down train. This is the new beginner clearance. Proceed to entry. You're saying open doors, but this is obviously not where we're supposed to be. We'll get back on the main track any moment. Get out of this station area. So 
So no harm done. On that occasion, in fact, it probably worked to our advantage. I was just trying to avoid that train, so it looked like it was on my side of the track. So I don't know whether it was or not, but it just looked like it. We don't, oh, no, doing that again. Don't get back into that habit, beat. Putting my handbrake on, thinking I'm backing out of the comms menu. I don't know whether I'm correct here, to be honest, but... You see, to my reckoning, we need to be over to the left. So I'm, I'm bloody sure this sat-nav doesn't work correctly, you know. Do I have to have permission to be here? Right, okay. I thought I'd ask for permission, but there you go. How weird. Yeah, so once again I'm on the wrong track. We need to be over there, don't we? So it's two platforms beyond... Get to the back. It's basically the far right we want to be. This is where it can get confusing, to be honest. Right, so now getting to, in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is actually turn my train around. And then we should be heading in the correct direction. Let ask for permission Station once again. Well, actually, looking at that, it's not the far right, is it? So that's now saying left at the next one. left and then right I'm assuming yeah rather than faffing about going to the bloody uh, service center every time to turn the train around i'd rather just pay the thousand credits to be honest and just i've done with it 
too much faffing about for me, that. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, come to a halt on here then. That's good. So 119 experience points, 5,133 credits. Boarding more passengers. And we will have a very quick look at what we've got. So we've got, yeah, okay. So that's basically confirming what it's just told us then. That's fine. That's good, right. Let's uh, get on with it again. So, handbrake off and away we go. So we're keeping right at the next one. And we're out of the station. Okay, let's get the speed up. So 18 kilometers to the next one. Time are we on 2.56? just wonder if the sky is just looking that little bit lighter, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit early though, yet, yeah, I would have thought. Another train broken down ahead. So, let's see what happens here. So we've got blue at this one, which is correct, according to the hood as well. We now need to go left. So I'm just interested to see how this is going to work out with that train. Oh, that's all right, actually, because that train's on that track. I think. Or is it coming from the other direction? No, I think we're okay. Thought it might have been coming from our right, but uh, it looks like we're okay. So, if they were coming that way, they're having to wait for us. Which is fine by me. It's still saying broken train ahead, but uh, as I've mentioned a while ago, that's one of the little foibles of the game. And always has been. Oops. Well, we're at 120 now, so let's bat on. If you can keep the speed at 120, you can cover some ground, but there's so many different speed limits on this game.
Animal Zone. There's not another broken train ahead, surely. No, it's counting. It's on the right hand side of the screen. It's counting up. So it's still that train that was back there at the junction. Remember guys, if you've just joined, uh, please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel. It would be really appreciated and click that bell for more videos. We're starting to get light now, I would assume. It's gone four o'clock in the morning. Oh, a bit fast. Get our speed down here, don't we? Let's get getting carried away again there. Woohoo! Yeah, definitely getting lighter. Back up to one twenty for a while at least. No, we didn't get a fine that time. We're winning. Just missed that one. Well, sorry, just caught that one, I should say. Nearly missed it.
I oh, know we're okay. Four. Oh, wait a minute. And it's back again, isn't it? Ah. Why is he waiting there? I had this situation uh, one time before where the other train just sits there like a lemon. Right, so we're going to have to come back then, aren't we? And use the track on the left. But I seem to remember, last time I did this, I was just going to use the track on the left and then the train ahead decided to go. So there's nothing behind me. Right, now, are you deciding to go or are you not? Well, we'll go then. I don't think he's going. Very weird how these uh, these trains are on the other track anyway, to be honest. Why would he be on the left-hand track as he's looking at it? Okay, so we need to get back over to the right as soon as we can. I feel like I'm driving a train in the UK at the moment. So what have we got? Three and a half kilometres to go, haven't we? Right, this should be where we get over. And we have a dreaded bridge zone. Yes, keep away from those bridge zones. You don't know what you might find. I wish it was a little faster than 80. Seems a bit slow after 120, doesn't it?
Thank you. And remember, I've called you this time. Don't want any messing. All right, let's get this thing slowed down. Take it steady. So we're still right, it says here. And it's still showing us right. It looks like that's correct though, because I can see the V. That's good. It certainly helps if you slow down. Okay. Let's bring this beast to a stop. Still on 81% condition, so that's fine. Doing well today, aren't we? Twenty-eight thousand seven hundred eighty-six for that six eight one experience points. That's lovely. Okay. Oh, it's just, yes, two, isn't it? That's it. Yep, sorted that right. Okay, let's get this train turned around the other way. So, I wonder why that cost us, I wonder if it's because we were outside the station, weren't we? It must be more, it must cost you more if you're outside the station when you turn around. It's only 220 now. It was over a thousand uh, credits before, wasn't it? Right, Chechen uh, Main. Looks like we're fine. I break off and away we go. Oh, this is 21 kilometers. Been a fair old run today, hasn't it, guys? Get this one finished though today. Defo. Hopefully we don't have too many broken down trains on the way. Still keeping right. Coming out of the station. And we're up to 80. Approaching train. It's over on the left somewhere. According to the hood, we're okay though at the moment. Oh no, we're not now. Well, that's not us though, is it? That's fine, that's not us.
No, we're okay now. That's good. He's on the other side. So that's fine. What are we at? 90. For some reason, my horn isn't working. I don't know why. Why is my horn not working? It is now. Didn't work before. Oh, nice view there, isn't it? Nice lake, or whatever it is. Oh, we're at 120 now. Slow down a bit, so we've got a hundred coming up, and we've also got a train ahead. Just had a little bit of break there, just to shave a bit of speed off. Was that train gone? Looks like train's gone now, isn't it? And we're back to 120. It's a nice shot, isn't it? I love, I love the view like that. Down close to the floor. Looks well. It's a bit confusing when you've got to do something like left and right. But I do like the shot. Okay, what well we've got to go now, just over 11,000, 11,000, 11,000 meters, 11 kilometers, and what are we doing, keeping right still, oh, on that horn, a bit late with it, but we got away with it.
lovely autumn colours on the trees around here. Come on before we get a fine. Thank you. Nice area around here. Very nice. So why is this only 70 on here then do we reckon? It's a dead straight track. No junctions or anything. Yeah, good job we slowed down there, isn't it? You watch, you'll not even be on our side of the track. Let's wait and see. Am I rolling backwards? I'm rolling backwards, aren't I? No, he's on the other track. He's on our track. Oh, he's going at a fair speed, isn't he? Look at him go. Bloody hell. Okay, so we've got eight and a half kilometers to go. Shouldn't be too long now before we get there. We've also got a 120 limit coming up as well, which should help things along. Not yet though. There we go. Yeah, plenty of water around here. Plenty of water.
Well, the trees have gone green now, look. They were autum autumnal colours before. We've gone from uh, autumn to to spring all of a sudden. Right, not far to go now. And it's been a lovely day all the way, hasn't it? I thought it were raining a bit earlier on. I thought I heard some rain, but no. No, it's been lovely weather. I mean, a good train ride, this. I enjoyed this. Hope you have too. And I'll just reiterate, if uh, anybody does want me to do anything particularly, go anywhere... Like I said, it would have to be from around the area we are, uh, Chechen. Um, then, uh, yeah, put it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. So just wondering where this guy is coming from. Is he on our side? Is that a red light there? Is what it is, isn't it? See, I think that's that's one issue where that uh, that icon actually covers the lights up, gets in the way a bit. Okay, let's just sit tight here. Oh, well, he's not moving, is he? Oh, well, this is another one of those situations, isn't it, where he's, it's going to be a standoff. Right, okay, we'll make the decision then. Let's get going. on 80 or 60 coming up as well hello we're prepared to receive you thank you Get the boarding track lit up, and then we shouldn't have any mistakes. That may have been a mistake out last time, actually, if I didn't get the passenger boarding track up. But um, hopefully this time we're fine. Yep. 
That's brought us straight there. Fantastic. And we've actually made it, guys, with uh, without without much problem, haven't we? Even though we have made one or two mistakes, but uh, they kind of uh, were to our advantage, really, in the end. So that's good. Pleased with that. Nice run. That was a good run. Let's just drop these passengers off and see what we end up with. Okay, we're now Junior 3. Got new parts, new dashboard accessories, new loco types as well. Lovely stuff. And so we have 34,917,874 XP. And we have 26,319,650 XP and 14,621,348 XP. Can't beat that, can you? What have we got now? 236,034 credits, pounds, dollars, however you want to term them. So. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed that, guys. I hope you did too. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Click that notification bell. And remember, the Discord channel, put a link in the description. Thanks again. Uh, we will see you on the next one. Remember, drop a comment if you want to see me do something uh, a little bit different or to go somewhere, particularly on the map. And uh, we will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.